peoples, children of all ages, welcome to this edition of the Chill Stream Sunday where I'm actually going to be reacting to the Hulk versus Broly death battle. Now, if you already know your boy, you know that I'm not really that big of a fan of death battle just considering that they really haven't been as accurate or they, they aren't as accurate as one might think. But again, at the end of the day, this is just one of those fun things you do to watch to pass the time because it's it's a nice presentation. It looks cool. You learn something out of it, usually in most cases. And yeah, so obviously the reason why we're here right now is because a lot of y'all already know I am the Broly man and I love Broly. And I do love me some Hulk at the same time. And obviously those two characters go hand in hand with each other. It's sometimes very hard to talk about one without the other. Whether it's Hulk or whether it's Broly, but they're both very similar. And it's it's natural to see them have a conversation at least at the at the least. You know? Who would who would win, right? Me personally, I have no idea just because I don't know all that much about Hulk, so I really can't talk that much on Hulk. But what I can say is I feel like based on the lack of knowledge that I have, I feel like I'm gonna learn so much about Hulk today. That again, it's gonna we're we're just gonna get the same kind of outcome when it comes down to these comic versus manga characters and the way these characters are written, the amount of versions and different like the differences that they get along their way. Because right now, manga the way we know it, especially at least with Dragon Ball, is very linear. Okay, it's linear in the sense that it has a start and it has. A finish at some point and even in super's case it's not done yet right but at, there was a point in time where z and gt were it that was those were the the final points of of that and there's not like there's an alternate this and an alternate that comic books those characters they get an ultimate version they got a super version they have uh, freaking earth this one this or freaking this that like they got all these different variations and they it just adds to the character so when you have a conversation it's just like oh like well they have this that and the other thing especially if you pull from this story and that story and this mama and that you know what i'm saying like it gets messy and that's why me personally i'm just not a big fan of it but for the sake of watching it it's something to do so without further ado why don't we just get right into it Primal as the ground we walk on and the air we breathe, anger can keep us alive or doom us forever. Well, on that fun note, let's jump into our season finale. First up is the incredible. Wow, this is a season Marvel finale. Speed That's actually kind of crazy. Breaking machine. Then there's Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Notice they call him the legendary Super Saiyan. Okay. That's how we're going to start things off, huh? Okay. Very good. And it's our job Very to analyze good. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Young Bruce Banner was a genius and the son of nuclear physicist Brian Banner. Who was just the absolute shittiest dad ever. <laughs> with murdering and super baby slapping. Naturally pretty distraught, Bruce's trauma due to parental abuse internalized itself as a second personality. Wow. An angry, childlike brute that just wanted to be left I alone. had no idea. And with that angry shadow in his head, Bruce grew up to be a leader in the study of gamma radiation. So like a total nerd who probably got beat up all the time. He had that... Hold on, let me read this real quick. So notable personalities, Savage Hulk, Joe Fixit, The Professor, Doc Green, Claw, Devil Hulk, Green Scar. See, like, these are things I had no idea. Robert Bruce banner so his first name is robert i thought first it was always bruce that's crazy draws power from the one below all really likes puppies he's been in the avengers defenders the warbound and the titans 3 cover during a gamma bomb test bruce was caught in the blast zone and absorbed enough radiation to well die except he kind of didn't well, not permanently. Instead, the bomb opened a door that let Bruce's alternate personality step into the world. Thus, using his anger, oh, that's kind of cool. Banner transform into the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Yo, okay. Sorry. So hold on, really quick. 
So this is this is dope in itself. Like I like I said, this is part of why I like Death Battle because this is so educational. This is some shit that I did not know. And I went into it knowing that I was about to learn some shit about Hulk, right? So I never read a single Hulk comic in my life. I literally have only done I've only been around Hulk in video games and the movies. And maybe the occasional episodes I might have seen back in the day in the cartoon, but that's pretty much it. Not gonna lie. Oh, they had that one Xbox game. I love that. That it was like it was like Hulk. I think it was Incredible Hulk's Ultimate Destruction. I think on that on the first Xbox. That that game was fire. That was actually OD. The Hulk is one of the strongest Mother Hubbers in all of Marvel. He can lift a 150 billion ton mountain, shatter asteroids twice the size of Earth, leap into orbit from the ground, <laughs> and even mess with the fabric of the He's busted by punching. Whatever a time storm is, you bet your ass he can punch it and break time. The Hulk's absurd power is tied to his rage. Wait a minute, did you hear that? Hulk is so strong he can break time. I'm not saying anything, guys. The this is not looking gets, good for Broly. And according to Almighty God, Y'all know who I want to win at the end of the day, though. No known upper limit. Though, to be fair, his body can't always keep up and will revert to Banner under too much pressure or too many puppies. Emotions like rage are governed by an area of the brain known as the hypothalamus, which controls Bruce's transformation. If it's damaged, his life could be put in jeopardy, like when wow. Hawkeye pierced it with a special arrow Bruce himself designed. Good thing the Hulk's a total tank who can keep fighting for days on end. Nothing short of literal gods are strong enough to take him down. When he does take damage, his body can heal almost instantly, even if his flesh has been vaporized or he's been cut into literal pieces. What? He can adapt to any environment imaginable, whether that's just straight up holding energy or surviving the depths of space. He's <laughs> even battled the warrior god Thor, who has thousands of years of combat experience and is fast enough to cross the universe in about five seconds. Wow. Nearly 300 quadrillion times the speed of light. That is ridiculous. No the world's so scared of him. He's a green apple flavored behemoth of destruction with the mind of a cranky four year old. While the classic savage Hulk persona may be a childish brute, there are several, maybe even thousands of other personalities cooped up within Banner's shattered psyche. Right. To fix it is a street smart bouncer. Doc Green is a super genius, and the Devil Hulk is the father figure Bruce never had. It's like an all-you-can-eat Hulk and oh my God. Brain. We got your There's a lot of Hulk around going around here. And claw, which is basically just sad Hulk. It's kind of dumb. Despite seeing his human half as weak, Hulk and Bruce would finally unite against a cruel, uncaring world under a new persona, the Green Scar. He brought a world war to Earth and Holy tore the shit. superhero community a new asshole. And by finally letting go of puny Banner, the Hulk became the unstoppable force everyone's always feared. A world breaker. World wow. Selling it. The Savage Hulk once obliterated an entire universe. This guy's busted. And bloodied Hyperion with a single... Can I ask a question real quick? Why did they, why did they do my man Hulk dirty and they did not give him another standalone film? Like, after watching all this and hearing all these facts, like, dude, what? That's crazy. Hulk deserves another... Stop, stop mistreating Hulk, guys. Punch, the same Hyperion this man deserves another movie. Two universes unscathed, which begs the question, how much more powerful is the Hulk at his maximum? <clears throat> uh, this one's all on me, Wiz. So, Hulk was once with this chick, Umar, ruler of the Dark Dimension. Movie Dormammu's Hulk sister? I didn't know this. He match her strength for six minutes. But he made up for it in round two when he came back as the Green Scar and kept Hulk smashing for hours. It's likely they went until dawn. That's a 12-hour session of Hulk smashing at most. My man. Well, that would make the Green Scar 120 times stronger than the Savage Hulk. Multiplying that by the energy of the two colliding universes would yield 960 duo vision. What the fuck is that number? C come on. What is what is that? Do a vigilantillion? What? Get the. I'm starting to remember why I don't fucking watch these no more, man. That is. That... All right, I'm out. And jewels. That's just a ridiculous. There's number. no logic. Oh, just that from a single battle. Battle. Oh, sweet summer child, Wiz. That's not the kind of mansion I meant. You got to be kidding me. 
I think I just invented a new field of science. The science of the f Now, you might be thinking this gamma stuff is not I knew I knew that's what he was talking about when he said Hulk was smashing. Magic. So, it turns out gamma is actually directly connected to energy from hell, drawn oh. from Marvel's ultimate satanic being, the one below all. By using his powers, the Hulk is literally channeling the devil. Are you it fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're kidding me, right? When the hell did any of this? Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I know he's driving. I'm not, you know. Let me, yeah. Let me leave him alone for now. Get, remind me in about like an hour and a half, guys, to to call brother Ooch. To get his ass on the stream, so I could, so we could educate him about what we learned today, because I had, I didn't, I never knew about none of this shit about whole girl. Overpowered the one below all, like he basically gets his power from hell. That is fucking nuts. Years. Every time Bruce dies, his soul is sent to hell and can resurrect. Once returned to the world, his body will heal from whatever killed him. The Murder killed him. Can't die. And after a journey into the lowest plane of hell, the Hulk even faced off against the one below all and the what? ghost of his father. In the greatest therapy session of all time, he thunderclapped those two assholes to smithereens. <laughs> Talk about cathartic. From one man with crippling daddy issues to another. Well done, sir. What else can you say but incredible? That's crazy. Okay, so now before they get into Broly, I just want to say Hulk is OD. He's crazy. I've always been a fan of Hulk, but now I feel like I'm a bigger fan of Hulk because I didn't realize he had all this shit to him. I didn't realize he had all this backstory and all this other crap that went on in his little universe. And I, it makes me want to read his shit. But again, there's way too many comics out there. So I, I, I don't know when that'll ever happen. But uh, but yeah, that that's that's kind of that's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. His story as a whole is pretty od. Now the one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys right now that I'm gonna be very critical, and I'm gonna be very, I'm gonna be paying attention to what they're saying about about Broly now, okay? Because again, this is where I come in. My field of expertise is now about to be shown, and I'll be surprised if they if they say anything that I didn't already know. I'll just start by saying that. The Saiyans, a brutal alien race, interstellar conquerors, and giant monkey men. These famous warriors are defined by three things. Their tenacity, their pride, and their rage, which fuels their world-destroying power. Okay. And no Saiyan can get even close to as pissed off as Broly. That's pretty true. <laughs> Unless you're Vegeta. Despite being of low birth, <laughs> the infant Broly was considered a prodigy by Saiyan scientists due to his impossibly high power level of 10,000. Enough to survive a planetary explosion. What? Over 9,000? All right, all right, I'm sorry. I got it out of my system. Anyway, baby Broly was growing up nice and happy until he was driven insane by baby Goku's incessant crying. Now everyone complains. Why are they... <sighs> See, this is... This is this is already strike one. They should not even be talking about this. Like they 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 should not even be talking about this. Because to this very day, like yes, that that the whole crying thing, that is that is that has been in discussions in the fandom for so many years. Okay? Like, is the reason why Broly was is so mad because of Goku's crying? One might believe that. But why are they talking about this? This Broly doesn't even matter anymore. <sighs> this is the lamest back story ever. But have you played Yoshi's Island? Yeah. Ah, no, big enough. That's the original story, but with the new movie, Thank you. that's no longer canon. Thank However, you. Despite developing different personalities, both of these Broly's are essentially the same character in different situations. The 2018 one is. Are you Are you sure? Really? They're essentially the same. Wow.
our primary source here, but we'll look at the original and similar sayings like Kale for more info. Whether it be jealousy for his own son or genuine fear of Broly's potential, Vegeta, the king, not the prince, abandoned Broly to a hellish backwater planet to die, with only his father Paragus as company. Just in time for Vegeta to get nuked. The planet, not the king. Well, I, I guess the king too. All thanks to the alien tyrant, Frieza. Nice job getting rid of your crazy strong Saiyan, baby. Idiot. Ironically, after decades of isolation, Broly and Paragus were found by Frieza and drafted into his army to eliminate the Saiyans on Earth, Goku and Vegeta. The prince, not the planet, or the king. Thing is, Broly's not like the angry Saiyans. This guy's a gentle giant who would rather play with his big green alien dog than fight anybody. Paragus molded Broly into a deadly warrior whether he liked it or not. Like most Saiyans, Broly can harness Ki, or one's inner life force, as an energy to enhance his physicality. Or fire it from his hands in a super laser beam! Broly's bread and butter is his eraser cannon, a green fastball that'll cross thousands of miles in seconds and vaporize planets. He can barf lasers with his gigantic roar, shower the landscape with blaster meteor, or just straight murder people with his gigantic- Okay, all of these, all of these are basically video game titles. They basically copy pasted. They probably went and Google and said, "What are all of the games that Broly is, is in?" Just to give his fucking moves names. The Pointless. Orgasm. Gigantic Omega Storm. Oh, that makes more sense. I'm gonna rename my dick that. This <laughs> more powerful technique though is a small key bolt that Broly can feed to rapidly grow in size and consume entire worlds. The Omega Blaster. Broly's arsenal isn't just blowing stuff up, though. He can use his key for flight, telekinesis, and paralysis. Despite being stuck in the space boonies all his life, he's an adaptable fighter who can match seasoned veterans. Basically, he learns as he fights. And while most Saiyans get stronger every time they almost die, the Brolmeister's strength is tied to his emotions. AKA, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. Hmm, doesn't that sound familiar? These power boosts are so great, he can match transformations like the Super Saiyan without even needing to transform. But Sorry. I just need to read this. Uh, but this is power of the great ape form. Power continually arises from anger and pain. Okay, super. What is this C type? B type? What the fuck? It's hard to maintain in traditional Super Saiyan. Oh, I see. Okay, so they, they decided to classify these... Legendary Super Saiyan form, aka Ultra Broly, Super Broly, Berserker, increases his physical size risk. Okay, this doesn't matter. But don't worry, <coughs> that he doesn't can matter. do that too. His wrath state roids him up and makes him as strong as a Saiyan great ape without all the fur, or the shedding. Much to Frieza's chagrin though, Broly had never learned to unlock Super Saiyan and could not compete with Goku and Vegeta's stronger forms. Solution? Murder Broly's dead to get him to transform. This part was OD. Despite the physical abuse he suffered at his father's hands, Paragus was still the only family Broly had, and losing that drove him over the edge. That's basically what happened to me when my dad lived. Except I turned into a super alcoholic. Although Broly wow. didn't turn into a typical Super Saiyan. You're welcome. Broly's new form was actually a Super Saiyan C type. This is an unleashed version of the repressed Super Saiyan A type, which are both precursors of the B type. Daddy, you're going out for what the fuck? Oh, oh my god, what are they talking about? What 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 are they talking about? A A type, B type, C type, Super What the fuck? What are they talking about? Cigarettes again? <coughs> okay, I'll see you when you get back. Goodbye. Bye. I love you. Hey, what? Are you paying attention? Yeah. yeah. Like they're literally they're memeing over the shit that they're they're talking about, and it makes no sense. Like this was all written. Just really realize that this is all written. They wrote this piss poor ass joke over this B type, A type, C type, Super Saiyan. What the fuck is that? Uh, the Super Saiyan Vitamin C form has the perfect energy control and let him wail on Frieza for over a Real, hour. real classy. Time, I mean Meme well, on the shit you're trying to fucking cover. Uh, right. Broly's power was so immense, it even made Goku of all people turn tail and run. 
Goku was able to clash with Lord Beerus with enough force to potentially he lost. destroy all of Universe 7, a humongous cosmic structure shown in this symbolic model, making the Dragon Ball Universe nine times larger than our own. Based on this, the shockwaves from their clash propagated 240 quadrillion times faster I hate this. than light. And after that, Goku became that powerful in his base form. Imagine how much stronger he was at Super Duper Pooper Scooper Saiyan. Or when fused with Vegeta into the almighty Gogeta, a being many times more powerful than the sum of his parts. Broly got into a dick measuring contest with a friggin' Super Saiyan squared and shattered reality. And at the peak of his rage, he became the warrior of myth, destined to appear once every thousand years, the legendary Super Saiyan. As a broccoli-haired freak, legendary Broly's power is so great that he needs to constantly let it out or else he might self-destruct. I guess you could say his power is maximum. He's easily among the strongest foes Goku's gone up against. That includes beings capable of shaking an infinite void just by powering up or merging with the U- Interesting. He did shatter walls between multiple realities. That whole the interdimensional fight, that shit was actually kind of crazy. Alternate timeline. In his original timeline, the Brawl survived his energy exploding out of him all at once. And in canon, he took dozens of attacks from Gogeta Blue. What does this say? While in the new canon, Broly has not shown the healing capabilities of his previous incarnation, he does possess a collection of sensu beams that can regenerate similarly fatal wounds. What the f- okay. ...without any visible damage after fighting for hours. His power comes at a cost, though. In his Berserker state, Broly is wide open against an opponent who's just as strong, but far more skilled. And after taking enough damage, his rage will hit its limits, and his power will fizzle out quick. He can even get knocked into weaker forms. Broly did lose his fight with Gogeta fair and square. But with new friends at his side to support him, and a new rival to teach him to temper his fury, the lonely Saiyan outcast finally got what his father could never give him. A family. Aww. But that means he has even more to lose. So watch out because this Super Saiyan's temper is legendary. And that's it. So Hulk's winning. Free. I don't see how Broly could come close. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Spiky hair man, what's this beauty planning? You scared them away. You are making me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Show me. What? Hope is just incredible. Hope is immortal. <laughs> you are That's crazy. A monster? No. The devil.
Wow. So now they're just fighting in space. Cool. Oh my god. Yes, show me. Break the world. Break everything. I'll tell you. <laughs> wow. Well, they're going to destroy each other. Throat sore. What? Are you? Fu wait, 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 wait! No, no, no! You're bugging. <laughs> God, I I can't wait to hear this bullshit explanation. Saiyan literally too angry to die. The Hulk had numerous advantages over Broly. He was far more experienced, slightly faster, and potentially smarter depending on which Hulk was in charge. But since the Hulks fight for control in Bruce's mind, it wasn't guaranteed he'd get one of the geniuses. Still, his healing factor was nuts. Broly wasn't going to put him down with anything less than complete annihilation. Fortunately for Broly, compared to his unbelievable power, the Hulk came up short. I know what you're thinking. Hulk could destroy a universe 120 times over, while Goku could only manage a lonely nine. Ah, uh, but that was base Goku's strength. Broly's maximum, no pun intended, was far greater. Let's lay down some numbers. Oh, here we go with the numbers. Super Saiyan, Broly was stronger than Super Saiyan Gogeta and took hits from Gogeta Blue without even bleeding. Based on the Daisenshu, the blonde Super Saiyan 3 form is about 400 times greater than Goku's base. Applied to Goku's new base in Dragon... Okay, but... Okay, 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 okay. If you... Okay. <clears throat> Here's the thing about the, the, the Daisenshu. Okay, that I don't think they realize at the time of their recording, okay, because the Daisenshu da data is based off of shit that already happened, okay? Every time they make something else in Dragon Ball, which is obviously super right now, these motherfuckers are getting stronger and stronger. What am I trying to say? That is old information. So basically, if Goku right now in Dragon Ball Super is to be compared to his old data from the Daisenshu books that were from the fucking 90s, right? How is How are they going to be comparable? You cannot source old shit and mix it in with new to just make logic. All of this right here, I don't even really think this means anything, to be honest, but we're going to keep watching. Ball Super, he would already be 30 times more powerful than World Breaker Hulk. And that's before factoring in Super Saiyan Blue and Gogeta, which are way stronger than Super Saiyan 3. With this in mind, legendary Super Saiyan Broly is thousands, possibly millions of times stronger than the World Breaker we've seen. While the Hulk's strength can keep increasing, so will Broly's, and it's unlikely he'd be able to catch up before being overwhelmed. After all, there have been multiple times when the strain on Hulk's body turned him back into Banner. 
With that big of a power difference, there's no way the same wouldn't happen here. Even stuff like breaking space and time is nothing new to Broly and other Dragon Ball characters. True. And don't misunderstand the Hulk's encounter with the one below all. There's no evidence he directly overpowered actual Satan, just dispersed his cloudy avatar. Hulk even said he was just doing that to buy time. Broly's true him greater maneuverability and area control plus he could attack at a distance with key when Hulk did close that gap Broly's force field and paralysis protected him up close and it's unlikely Hulk could land a lucky fatal blow considering Broly took hits from Gogeta blue who's millions of times stronger than the world breaker you get the idea. I can't believe that leads this us to our last and most important question could Broly bypass Hulk's immortality to put him down and take the win surprisingly yes Whenever the Hulk or Bruce die, his healing factor kicks in to fix whatever wound killed him in the first place. Meaning he still needs some element of his physical body that can heal itself in order to come back to life. The hypothalamus is key to this. Once it was destroyed by Hawkeye and his special arrow, Bruce took months to come back from the dead. With Broly's incredible power, there was no doubt he could vaporize Hulk and leave nothing left to heal. Like basically every Dragon Ball Z fight ever. The Hulk was an incredible opponent, but the legendary Super Saiyan's boundless power. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Techniques oh God. Built the end for the not so jolly green giant. <clears throat> this incredible fight was insane. The winner is Broly. We take those, I guess. Boomstick. A strange green man in a zoot suit left a letter for you. Oh, sounds legit. Give me. Dad? Thank you so much for watching this season finale to one of the honestly best years we've ever had. And next season, we'll be celebrating 10 years of death battle with some of the biggest and wildest episodes we've ever done. 10 years bigger, bolder. Uh oh. March 7th is when they're coming back. Cool. Well, <clears throat> fellas, what do you say? How did how did it do? Cuz honestly, my thoughts are there. I'm not even going to lie. I I'm fucking shocked that Broly won. But that's my man, so I am pretty happy. I'm not going to lie, but they really hyped up Hulk, man. They really did. I really thought after all that shit with him him getting his power from the devil and all that shit, I mean, sh fuck it, but I'm good. I'm totally good.